Hey, hello everybody. This is Maltana. Nice to see you again. And uh, today I've got something uh, something special for you guys. I hope that it will make your life easier in terms of uh, working in After Effects and specifically doing color correction. Uh, there are many ways to do color correction, but uh, I just decided to share a, a little tool that I've built for myself some time ago because uh, it makes it easier for me to work in most cases. Of course, it's not perfect, so uh, you just have to find out when it works best for you. So, enough of this. Let's get to the point. And what I've got for you is color corrector. And let's just drag this onto this footage. As you can see, this is not a very nice piece of footage. Oh, well, of course, George is a pretty handsome guy, but uh, I mean, the whole shot is, is pretty bluish like, so we would like to col color correct this. And how do we do this? Unfortunately, I was unable to hide uh, this effect, which is in effect color balance. Uh, so I just ask you not to change anything with uh, in this because this is driven by expressions so just focus on this part which is Polygon Studio color corrector. So the first step is to set the master light. Well not uh, necessarily it might be like last step whatever. We just have master light highlights midtones and shadows to um, to manipulate with. And you know what first of all let's set the amount to 100 for example so we can see what's going on live as we change the parameters so let's add a little bit of red as you can see this already takes effect and please remember that master light is uh, pretty intense it has the biggest impact on the overall look of the of the footage so mm, keep that in mind so let's set this just to a little bit red and let's leave it as it is uh, and I think we can focus mostly on shadows and midtones and we leave highlights for last because we have uh, very few highlights in here so let's go to the shadows and let's play with the shadows just a bit to see what works well and maybe highlights this already takes effect and Here's a little tip for you. If you find some color working for you, but you think it is too intense, like in this case, you can easily change the mode of this color palette from H, S to B. And in this case, we can just dim this out a bit and then maybe lower the saturation a bit and you already see how this works. It is a pretty, pretty cool way to work with color. So let's leave this as it is, and let's move to the midtones. Maybe let's add a little green here and there. Oh yeah, and this this is looking pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, kids don't smoke cigarettes. They're bad for you. Okay, don't do it. Seriously, don't. Um, okay, so let's take a look at uh, before and after. This is before. This is after. We pretty much uh, restored the original colors well at least it seemed like we did so I think this is a pretty cool technique to use and that's not all we can of course apply some basic color tools which is uh, my preset but it just consists of hue and saturation and curves because this is what I use mostly to do some color adjustments so let's add some contrast to this well, maybe not too much, like this and like this maybe. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but what about some cinematic looks, right? Let's do some cinematic looks. I believe I will came up with with some presets for you to use with this, uh, but just just not today. So let's change the master color, master light to uh, maybe greenish like. Let's do the matrix. Matrix is cool. Okay, so greenish maybe let's turn the saturation down a bit on the overall uh, image and maybe add a little bit more contrast to this like so 
and maybe let's get rid of those reds let's change them to something like this and as you can see it may seem that the whole picture is bluish but you can definitely see some oranges in here and reds and greens so um, just keep that in mind because uh, when you're working on some footage and you're looking at it constantly then you can uh, easily be fooled by your eyes so just keep in mind that just try to find all the different colors and if you and if you see them then it means the whole shot is okay so as you can see you can basically do um, any color correction with this and it's pretty easy much easier than using the uh, standard color balance because you know figuring out how these values should be set up it's is pretty pretty messy we can of course turn off the preserve luminosity checkbox in here um, so uh, okay I guess that's it uh, if you like this tutorial and you like this preset please leave a comment on my website www.smiletanan.com and you can also find my tutorials on creativecow.net and on the creative cow after effects podcast okay see you later cheers